Well, just when some of us thought we might not live to see a major earthquake in this province, time to think again. A magnitude 6.1 shaker hit southern Japan today. While there were no immediate reports of damage and no tsunami alerts, seismologists say it's a wake-up call. And they say an even larger earthquake could shake Oregon and California within the next 50 years, triggering a tsunami all the way up to Vancouver Island. A news reporter Astrid Braunschmidt has more. Earthquakes happen every day around Vancouver Island. Most you don't feel. Yesterday's you might have. I felt the earthquake that they had down in Washington State. It was a magnitude 3.4 at a shallow depth near Seattle. For years, scientists have said the big one is imminent. They've warned that major shakers happen on average every 500 years. Just when you thought a major quake wouldn't affect you during your lifetime, think again. Researchers at the University of Oregon took another look at the Cascadia subduction zone, which runs from Northern California to BC. They found that it's not one, but four segments, and the southern end has a major quake roughly every 240 years. So it's actually overdue in terms of, of this this new study. New research suggests the risk of a major earthquake striking the coasts of California and Oregon within the next 50 years is greater than once thought. What it means for Vancouver Island is we have to be tsunami ready. But certainly everyone would feel it here and the real impact would be potentially from tsunamis that are generated at the southern end of, of, of the subduction fault traveling uh, through to Vancouver Island. The impact of such a tsunami could be as devastating as the wave that washed out Port Alberni in 1964. It was triggered by a massive 9.2 quake in Alaska. Cassidy says we can take a lesson from the Chileans, who survived a massive earthquake and tsunami earlier this year because they were prepared. The population along the coast of Chile was well aware of the hazards from earthquakes and tsunamis, and people living on the coast most of them survived because they knew to go to high ground when they felt the shaking. It's hard to know how many of us are prepared for the big one. People we spoke to said they were. We have some kits in, uh, out in the outer building. I have an emergency preparedness kit. Maybe that's why emergency preparedness stories don't trigger waves of customers at this store. We see some response to it, but not a spike like you might anticipate. I think maybe a lot of people think they're already prepared or they're starting to become complacent again. Complacency could be dangerous. The Provincial Emergency Program recommends everyone have a 72-hour supply of food, water and emergency equipment. A little emergency stove. And if it's true that the southern end of the fault has a 37% chance of triggering a major earthquake within the next half century, we might just need it. In Victoria, Astrid Braunschmidt, A News.